I'm Steve Kofsky, Editorial Director for BlackBerry, and recently I sat down with our Senior Vice President and Chief Information Security Officer, John McClurg. Here's part of that conversation. I'm taking a moment to talk about uh, the the David and Goliath uh, battle that uh, is especially the, the small medium enterprises that you're talking about are facing uh, with a with a committed nation state affiliated actor that that has unlimited resources talk a little bit about about these adversaries that are are very very different from maybe organized crime or something like that those capabilities and the and and you know you mentioned the the David and Goliath conundrum um, one of the great benefits um, that it come as a result of this shift from reactive detection to proactive prevention and the engagement of the strength of a uh, AI supported math model is the predictive power that that math model has. One of the things that makes Goliath Goliath many times is the resources they command in an ability to to morph or alter the sign virus signature just seconds before they decide to launch or go after you. We see this particularly in the uh, ransomware as a service world where when they go out to Satan down in the dark web and they, they leverage tools like Satan to, to tweak or, or modify the way they're going to attack you and at the last minute in a way that's specific specifically designed to assure that you don't have a you know a signature that would match the ransomware that they're going to throw at you they then launch that at you so that's an aspect of the the Goliath piece that and of course we in our David position don't have this the the resources to maybe accommodate that unless uh, we've we've leveraged that that uh, AI math model basis and and are, are capitalizing on the fact that I think it was SE Labs back in 2015 measured the strength and prowess of that math model and, and, and is determined, and this is, is very interesting to me, and one of the most exciting things I, I think for me in terms of the strength of the, the AI-supported math models is that she has a predictive power that you know, is, is mature and, and will defend against threats that haven't even uh, maybe even risen in the minds or conception of its creator yet. We saw that uh, in terms of uh, the recent SE Labs evaluation where threats and, and attacks that were now occurring in 2022 were taken and ran back against, uh, and I call her her. I don't know why I started attaching a feminine gender to her other than she's very, she's very smart and my wife's smart. I, I don't know. There's a bias there I'm, I'm sensitive to, but I, I call her her. The, the SE Labs took these recent attack vectors or attack signatures and threw them at her as she existed back in 2015. And the, even at the strength she had back then, she was able to kill these most recent manifestations of the threat coming at us. So that kind of strength and power, predictive power, actually you know, is what takes the David at the David's out there and says, Hey, you know, don't worry. You will stand up to the Goliath and notwithstanding the resources they have to draw on because of the strength and predictive power that allows you then, even in your small little group to stop pre-execution, anything that Goliath may think that he, that, that he can throw at her because she can, she can stop it. So I think that's one of the, the great levelers. Now, of course, Goliath is not going to just sit here and say, well, wait a minute, I'm not going to let AI support math models like that that BlackBerry through their science acquisitions is now offering the world to, to defeat me they're going to look for innovative new ways to try and counter and, and, and undoubtedly leverage AI to whatever extent they can but it's a breath of fresh air for me who's been in the business for over 30 years now to finally see this equalizer you know I always would like to say I had hope that you know David could always possibly pay, pull it off but knowing now that uh, he has more than just maybe a slingshot there to, to leverage to, to, to throw at the Goliaths that are coming at us. But uh, we have the full strength of this, this portfolio of, of, of services now that have at their core the, the strength of our AI and math model, which is what we're trying to do across the entire offering that we, we offer the community at BlackBerry by, by porting that strength, not just in the endpoint, but in the, the mobility space and in the identity space and then eventually here shortly in the, uh, the data loss prevention space, making sure that that same strength that we experience on the endpoint actually gets carried out across that environment. I'm waiting no, on again, no, Steve. No, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really important. And I think that um, the technology that, that you're describing is a force multiplier. It, uh, if you catch 
these threats very early in the kill chain, then you don't need to do, uh, uh, or you don't have incident response. You don't have remediation. You can you can accomplish much more with a smaller team. Would you agree with that? Um, well, you know, the, the bad guys are always going to look for something clever. And, and to the extent that we're seeing them exploit the trusted insider, they may yet try and find ways to get around the strength and the immediate strength and prowess of the AI math models. Though I think leveraging AI math models in very well engineered and orchestrated insider threat programs that, that appreciate that the early indicators of an insider possibly turning to the dark side could be distributed across many, many different sides. So classically, we haven't been able to wrap our arms around all that data. It was too distributed in too many different silos. But the strength and prowess of what a math model allows you to do is to actually start garnering, pulling all that data in together so that you can you can start to even wield that same sort of sex success when it comes to, you know, uh, battling what the, the bad guys may try to throw at us in, in the way of a curve. So uh, while I think it, the model does mean that the, the elaborate defense in depth structures that included incident response, uh, that has given way to a lot of the models that you see, like NIST is advanced. If you look at the NIST models and the standards uh, and the different elements that make up their, their standard, you say, wait a minute, up high, there is a presumption in the model that you will be compromised and that the the, uh, the additional steps that they're asking you to, to be uh, audited on and evaluated on are the steps and actions you would take after having been compromised. So the whole model, in my way of saying, needs to be rethought a little bit because they need to start out by saying, well, wait a minute, has this particular client or this person being evaluated actually embraced the proactive prevention model? If it is, then we'll give them credit for that and then give them declare that they've got compensating controls already in place so that what they might otherwise have had needed to expend in the way of resources and funding on some of these downstream reaction, reactive uh, uh, principles in the in that kill chain or that defense in depth structure can be foregone or they can turn their attention to uh, putting their time energy and efforts on let's say the the insider threat and the different ways in which we're seeing uh, that become a, a relevant element so uh, that again just keeps things as interesting as they ever were uh, but like you said I think it, it changes it doesn't do away with completely the 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 need for incident response um, uh, forensics team and that, but at just the the extent and the the size and the frequency with which that service may be invoked would be reserved for these instances. Hopefully, less occurring instances where the the bad guys have figured out a way now to try and leverage some other aspect to get at us. It's, it's a perpetual dance, Steve. I I may have told you the story of the the efforts I had in Romania when we were I had Romanian acrobats attacking my supply chain, and. Uh, uh, they would come up behind our trucks at night with their lights off and then get out on the hood of the car, jump through space and attach themselves to the back of the truck. Uh, Break their open the break the lock, open the doors, and then toss the computers out to their partners on the vehicle behind. And uh, the truck would arrive where it's going, and the the driver would say, I, "I never stopped. How can my my truck be empty?" And it was because of the the prowess and the innovative uh, efforts of these adversaries. Now, I countered that by inserting GPS into the boxes, so that the next time they stole them, they would take them back to their safe house, and they would beacon out. And with law enforcement, we would swoop in and and uh, and arrest the the perpetrators. But when uh, they saw that we were we were proceeding in that manner, especially the cartels in Mexico who had the funding and the resources to come up with some alternative solutions, actually embraced a, what the GPS suppression. So it's a, so which reflects it was like a tennis match. So balls back in my court, back in there's a, we're constantly adjusting and 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 modifying our, our our tactics based on what the other is doing. And that was just a quick example of that that perpetual dance that's characterized my career, and I suspect will continue to characterize our time even with the arrival and strength of things like the, the, the AI-supported okay, well, math Okay, I'm going to be sending you a contract. I want to secure the movie rights to that because <laughs> I, I have to see that uh, in, cinematically. Um, well, that's where <laughs> Fast and Furious was actually imitating real life and some of the things that they, they depict in some uh, of those movies. That is, is an amazing story. For more information on this and other related topics, please visit our blog at blackberry.com slash blog. For BlackBerry, I'm Steve Kofsky.